the driving seat now, kids. Yeah, Hello. God, sorry, I've got the aircon blasting. God, I'm. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Oh my god, I actually really missed you. I saw you only I so only... recently, but when I missed did I see you on Monday. Good shorts, good earrings, babe. I'm loving it. It's very good, isn't it? So these are an upcycled, downcycled Ali Mac number. Fat me down. down. These earrings are a gift from you. I'm basically dressed by you today like a doll. Babe, <laughs> I was thinking that all of these colours are like really yours. You know, have you ever like done... Like neutral, do you think? Yeah, have you ever done your like colour chart? No, never, but I know I get it all wrong. These are your shades. Okay, can I just say, Please? and you might not be keen. Go on. But this is the one day of summer that we might have. To do? I think we should go and get an ice cream from an ice cream van. Can you even eat ice cream? I can have a lolly. Great! A okay. calippo uh, it is. The only problem is, go on. I don't know where the nearest ice cream van is. Well, you're in luck because you're I in. do. I've just driven past oh, one. Oh, the one on the common? Yeah. Is the common okay? No, no. Why is no one working? I would Why like no to suggest an alternative ice cream location. Does this feel weird? No. We should go to um, proper gelato. Okay. Oh, Who got... does that on a Thursday afternoon? Do you not have a clicker? No, babe, it's in my car. Let me just do Manually, she's got to let us out. Her dress is so short that I can see her nose. Oh, no. That's my neighbour. Who the hell's so... this? Hi! She's yeah, like, away. <laughs> right, take a left. Can I just say why I don't normally drive? It's not because I'm an awful driver or because I don't have a car this or a licence. <gasps> It's so nice. Gasping, were you? <laughs> it's because I'm normally working. I think you're a great passenger. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way. What does I, it mean to be a good passenger? Kind you just bring the criteria. energy, you know? Well, and I can't do that while I'm driving. I can't really do that when I'm driving. Well, I was a bit worried that I might not be able to concentrate. And this one's a manual. I didn't even notice that your car was automatic. Babe, I passed on an automatic. I think that should be illegal. Babe, do you know you've got an old Pepsi map? Oh, that's sad because it's been open. Oh, no, it hasn't been No, open. it hasn't been opened. Sure. And it is old it's not mine it's obviously Sherry. Colin's actually do you know what I picked so up Colin from the airport I took him that didn't magic. even open it ungrateful bitch exactly oh. we don't have the swear jar yeah. in this car so I got away with that. that yes one week off should we talk about Wednesday night so I'm covering oh, last night. a prime time spin <laughs> yeah, slot. It, it actually was prime time. This is like when people say to you, this is your chance. Find the people to convert them <laughs> to your classes that no one wants to go to because they're at horrible times. This is your moment. So and much she pressure got on given you. the moment. I was moment. gifted the moment two weeks in a row on two prime time classes. Gorgeous, lovely. So I get there. It's a very busy class. Very busy in comparison to my graveyard packed. shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've done 30 minutes of this class, right? I am pounding it. I'm dripping with sweat we're having a good time out there i'm going up this hill right i've got the gears on high it's coming to the last track i actually believe temperature sean paul was playing which i'm a bit embarrassed about out of context but anyway i enjoyed it we got the right temperature to the from the star. Oh, Lord. That's all right. suddenly so I'm like, what's happened? Is there a remix happening? No, no, it's real life Ali Mac FaceTiming me. It's come through my laptop, cut my music off completely. So my ringtone is just playing. I was honestly mortified. I said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That is actually a phone call. <gasps> I'm just going to decline it. Well, I was more worried that you were going to ring again because when do I, I ever know, air I you? Know, I know. Like, I fully aired you. I, I just declined and I would never do that ever or not send a text straight away. So I was like, God, hoping she looks on Find My Friends and she sees I'm here. And at the end, I said, I really am so sorry. If you're annoyed by it and it's ruined your evening, then please come and talk to me. If you found it funny, Did then you you're welcome. That? Yeah. Babe, why would it ruin their evening? That's hilarious. Some people are so serious. Mm. Babe, when you're pounding up a hill, you don't want silence and a ringtone. I'll yeah, tell you that for free. Please. Well, this is just a PSA to anyone that was in that <laughs> 730 class. I actually really had nothing important to say. I was just calling I for know. a check-in. I honestly was like, what she left on, why are you calling me? I'm like, just to say hi. <laughs> And then I was oh, so God, prangy this morning. I was teaching at Morgate and I was like, do not disturb on the laptop. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Oh, it's so babe. funny. How's your night? I had this dream. <laughs> yeah. You know when you have those dreams and you wake up and you like think, like a lucid what dream. The hell, yeah. So I was in the back seat of a car. I was going to the Isle of Wight and I was with like mine and Rory's friends and like his best mate was in the front and I was in the back with these two girls. Anyway, we were supposed to be meeting Rory in the Isle of Wight or something. We couldn't find him and like for some reason <laughs> didn't have my phone. They called him and he was 
was like, I'm living a double life and I have this family with this woman who lives on the- Broaders! Yeah. They had this blonde child together. Anyway, I somehow <laughs> then got in the roof of the house, walked into the kitchen with a no. knife in my hand. No! Well, you and would, I, I said, put it past you. I said to him, I just had to see it for myself. And he was like, I just love her more than you. And her name was Jan. It's quite a cool name, actually, if you repurpose it. Do you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, you reclaim it from the grandma stage. Exactly, and you turn yes. it into someone a bit young and cooler, Jan. Babe, are you Miley Cyrus these days? Because those space funds are giving a bit of wrecking ball. Oh, yeah, you I actually- I like a wrecking ball. My hair is flat as a pancake. Tell me about bleach. I look like I've got two spaniel ears on me. Tell me about bleach. Babe, you yeah. need to get it cut because I had no, that the I'm getting it cut on Sunday. Okay, yeah. Wait till I get a full blown bob, you're gonna hate it. Are you? No. Do if you I do actually that, think I suit a bob. Bad. No. I I'm... suit a bob. No. We met and I had a bob. What? Did no, you not like me then? Me. Babe, a bob is like here. No, I've been shorter. I've been to the earlobe and I what? quite like it. It is chic. Are you for real? Yeah, I think baby. Can, okay, I'll I actually can get behind like it, that. but if you do that, you have to style it every day. I know. No, I'm not going to do it because my hair has to be up all the time. Yeah, I need it yeah. to be up. Bleach, gosh, it's a bit scary in there. I actually really like the colour on it now. I know. Do you? you can I tell you why I, I don't like this colour? And this is no sweat to Kate Winslet. I think she's a gorgeous woman. I love her. No sweat, you mean no hate. I look like Kate Winslet at that sad Christmas party in the holiday <laughs> when Jasper won't love her. <laughs> well, bleach is expensive is number one thing you need to know about it. But once you've so, done that, let's just rephrase that. Bleach, if you could do us a solid, you have it for free. <laughs> I know, I'm so embarrassed that I did this. I fully got our TikTok up when I was in the chair. Our TikTok. Babe! Just in case they wanted to see it's my following. Green. And they... Babe, it's green. You oh, can go. it's green. Okay. Hi, thank you for having me. And no, I fully got our TikTok up in the hairdresser chair just in case. And she still, She's, didn't, and she still didn't care. So that was sad for us. That it's like sad. 300 quid <gasps> just for colour. And that's with a junior stylist. Babe, I think we could do it in the bathroom. You have to go blonde first. Yeah, but we can do that. Babe, we cannot do that. Why? No, there's no way I'm trusting you to do that. Sorry, so you're going to pay for someone to do it blonde but not pink. So why would you not just pay them to do it pink? Because you have to go blonde before you go pink. The pink is just not a toner, it's not day. a dye. You oh. can, you can. It's a toner. No, it's not really a dye, it's like a semi perm toner Especially wash. Especially because you don't want like bright pink. No, 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 no. Oh my God, it's going to be epic. But anyway, I'm going on lot. holiday, not next week, the week after. Where are you? Going. going to Portugal, just outside Lisbon, with my parents, my two are parents, you? just the three of us. We're sharing a hotel room. The three of us are going on holiday, like the three little bears. Apparently, it's a really nice restaurant. Such good vibes. Yeah, I've heard very epic. good things. Yeah, we have so much to talk about. Should yeah. we get a little ice cream? Do you want to do that first? first? Yeah. Okay, okay, great. Have you ever had chocolate sorbet? It's the actual no. bomb. I actually don't love chocolate ice cream. I just think with chocolate. chocolate ice cream, I'm like, I'd rather have a bar of chocolate. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather just eat chocolate than like have a chocolate ice cream. Yeah. What's your favourite Ben and Jerry's flavour? Oh. I hate a whole tub of Ben and Jerry's on Saturday. Oh, I used to love fish food. Oh, yeah, good one. What, what's yours? What flavour? When I ate the whole tub. I don't know what it was, but it was amazing. It wasn't cookie dough, it was actual cookie bits in it. And then it was like half caramel, new. Be half. New. Oh, the caramel swirl one. I think it might have been a caramel swirl oh, something exactly with what. a cookie yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. My ex boyfriend, my ex ex-boyfriend my ex for my ex got married oh what? my god no married no wild no even no. if you feel nothing no, no, for them i agree if you feel nothing it feels a bit wiggly diggly inside why does it feel so wiggly diggly i did feel wiggly diggly i was like oh it's so weird to see him like a he looked like a child groom also he looked sorry not miserable. sorry i know my friend chloe was like oh my gosh smile why did he look so miserable standing up there because he was about to get sentenced for life will you please put your seat back on my car is saying to you my car's name is May. Really? Does your car have a name? No. We never speak about her. Is she a she? No, she's a he. Why Odd. is she a he? Because she's a black German Audi. He's a black German Audi. Why does that make him a he? I don't know. He's just always had a masculine energy, that car. Right, okay, fine. Always. But this is very feminine, especially with the flowers. I know, my car's covered in flowers. It's so funny. Do you um, know my favourite thing is when I pull up to lights and there's always little girls there and they'll point. Day. Okay, tell me about the about the man. Come on, the wedding. I've got nothing to tell. I just saw it through his mum's. No, I mean, I've seen it too from through his mum's and then I had a quick talk of the mum too and I thought, God. You know when you've like taken a bit of a wrong turn in life? When you are on your best friend's <laughs> ex-ex-boyfriend's <laughs> mum's Instagram. Instagram. God love her. She's actually so sweet. She's just a classic boy mum. And I think she really wanted her boys to have nice <laughs> girlfriends, which they both do actually now. <laughs> Sorry, but you know when it happens and you come out and you think, what, what was, was that? What a way to spend my <gasps> what time. What was that? I know, awful. 
beautiful. It's just weird. Like, even if you don't care, it just feels like an odd... I don't know, it's like a chapter of your life. I'm like, lots then... of love, but the wedding canopy... Lots of love, but... <laughs> Lots of love, but the wedding canopy did no, look a bit like we a super-sized napkin. I'm sorry. Need to slag the wedding. I think it looked lovely. I What's wouldn't have wanted it. Like, Babe, you don't even know him or her. What's wrong with slagging the wedding? That's like looking on Instagram slagging Hayley Bieber's This wedding. is the weirdest thing. You know when you say like, oh, you don't even know him? Well, I do. I sucked his dick once. <laughs> so I actually do know him. <laughs> so but sad. Like, don't you just think I wanted an invite a little like bit? Really? Well, not really. But I just think if I'd been there, I'd have thought that's undone. That's not finished. Why have they not finished that? <laughs> well, it was abroad. What's abroad? <laughs> What's abroad? <laughs> What's abroad? <laughs> if anyone finds my will to live, I'd just love to have it back. <laughs> <laughs> what was anyway, happening in your head then? That, I mean... <laughs> What's abroad? What's up, Rod? <laughs> what? Oh That's my gosh! That your brain just like glitches. You've been having quite a lot of them recently. You must know. go on holiday. <laughs> no, thank God. I'm going on Saturday. No, I need you to, need switch to get away. Bit. You need to not. No, no. You know, it's like when you have your phone on for a month and then it just freezes. That's been happening to me. No, a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you to eat that sorbet. I don't want all of it right Why? now. Why? Because I just don't want all of it right now. Well, you now. can't save it, can you? That's the worst thing about also, sorbet. Also, I'm getting really prangy about sugar in my teeth because the dentist is like really pranged me out about the fact I'm not going to have any teeth. <laughs> he was like, everyone else could eat Can a packet of biscuits and you could eat a half a biscuit and still have tooth decay. I'm sorry. The lisp you get is just bizarre. Where does that come from? And the, the le what? Why did your mouth not work properly? Oh. oh my God, I went for dinner on Friday. I put these back on to just hide. Just to relax yourself. Just to hide myself. It's because you're a bit hot. It's not the hot. It's just my whole ecosystem is a bit out of whack. She needs to get away on holiday. So this is our last drive through filming for Algo's away for two weeks. Who goes away on holiday for two weeks anymore, by the way? Me, every year. That's wild. Every single year. Do you know the blood donor lady said to me today on oh, the yeah, phone? Yeah, how was it? I didn't give phone. today. Yeah. I can't yet because of the tattoo. How many months does that have to be? Four, post-tattoo. This means a new tattoo is coming. What's the tattoo? Could be anything. I normally decide on the day. Normally quite last minute. That wasn't decided on the day. I didn't see it till the day. Oh, you're gonna get another one? Another one, Venus? <laughs> Honestly, I might just drop you off. I'll pick up someone else. Get Raw in, we'll just- Oh, have you just dribbled? <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. I am the Mina. Are you getting another Mina? I, <laughs> I watched this episode. I'm just going to do a lap around the park. <laughs> I watched this episode of the Kardashians last night, right? Kim was like really having a hard time and she went, I haven't changed my outfit in like two days. <laughs> and I thought, I haven't changed my outfit in fucking six years! No, do you want a perspective shift? My friend Emily recommended this podcast to me, Darling Shine. These two Australian girls, I think you'll so love it. I've heard of it. I think I know. I about think it. you'll really love it. The one girl, right? She was with her partner, Chump, who was a <laughs> I think that was his name, Chumpy, who was an Olympic snowboarder for Australia. Really? Yeah. He tragically one morning went out to surf and died. They'd been together for like nine years. Died. She just lost him, her soulmate, died the love how? of her life. He blacked out underwater, I think. Yeah. That's awful. Perspective, guys. People just die. Like that person who just walked past us, they might die. Babe, why are you thinking about death? Because I just think are it you makes feeling it... like stereotypical Barbie, who like suddenly yeah. has these thoughts of death. Wait, no, I'm not stereotypical Barbie, aren't I? I'm the other one. No, Margot Robbie is stereotypical Barbie, and then she gets these thoughts of death. Oh yeah, that's me. Sorry, didn't miss the reference. Yeah. I thought I was Ugly Betty. <laughs> Both. No, I just think it's good to remember the silly things don't no, matter. I know, I know. It's okay that your brain doesn't function properly. No, it's I fine. Know. At least you're alive. No, I'll tell you what I watched that blew my mind. This thing on Netflix called The Deepest Breath. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Why the Have hell? Have you watched it? Are they doing that as a pastime? What do you, like, do you know what I die. mean? What is that? What is that? You black. Why out. did he go down 10 seconds late? I know, I know. What happened? Why was he dilly dallying? That Why did been, she get lost? That would have been me though, because I'm always late. But that. <laughs> But I actually do think... Hold a minute, hon. <laughs> One more breath. Not to place blame on anyone, but if he'd gone down when he was supposed to, he would have lived. But then I think, was there a communication issue or did he not have enough breath? Like, something went wrong and it's tragic and it is it's not so you a watched, hobby. You watched the whole thing. Yes. The fact that you go down and you know you're going to black out when you come back up is mad oh, to me. Horrendous. What is fun about that? I don't know. But that's like, and like it. how the woman, the most famous woman in the world, got lost one day. She just went for a dive and never came oh, back. Oh my God, I know. And they were all crying. No, no. Can I tell you about what happened to me on Friday night? I went for supper at Elliot's in 
yeah, London Bridge, yeah. which I love and highly recommend. Have if you you're ever before? in London, and, yeah, about five times. Okay, this is actually really bad and a real like moral dilemma. Why, so you'll babe? Have to let it's me not, know how you feel about it. Obviously, no, it is. It's, it's joyful. Moral. It's utterly joyful. So she I went didn't to pay the bill it. and they didn't put. They hadn't put a bottle of wine on, so it made it thirty quid a head for like a bottle of wine, loads of food. Like I almost felt like Christmas Day full. I couldn't have pudding. How shocking that is! I couldn't have it. How much should the wine have been? Forty-two quid the bottle. Why did you order that? It was the cheapest they had. And then they forgot about it. And then it. they blessed us no, with a cheap, cheap. But now we're like, oh my gosh, we can't go back. Or you just hope that the person that serves you just leaves. It's hilarious, because I felt like she was really leery. Like, she was in a bad mood. She was not having a good night. Like, you know me, I'm constantly trying to be, like, so nice. You know, we've had this conversation before, yeah. Lick her ass. She was having none of it. Maybe she was apologising for being such a cow. Anyway, small wins, I guess. I went to a bar, like, the most hideously expensive bar in Knightsbridge 10 years ago. At that age as well, you have no money. Oh, and you just ordered, like, one olive and sparkling sure. water because you can't afford anything. We had, like, the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest thing. When we asked for the bill, the waitress was like, oh, the guy over there is paid. And I was like, are you actually joking me? I would no. three, three, four courses. The guy on two tables over. It's a bit curvy. Right? Is that and problematic? And he How didn't old even come. Whoa, Whoa, baby. honey bunny. He didn't even come over and say hello. He just paid. That's, like, really weird. Well, that's, like, all these energy. sugar daddies climbing into our DMs. No, being like, I just paid for you to exist. I'm kind of considering it, actually. Me too. Yeah. They're there just... must be a catch. What's the catch? You should go to dinner with them, probably. No, they say no contact. I just want you to thrive. That's not right. No, all of mine are very clear. Me too. Mine says all no contact, no pictures. No contact, no Baby, pictures. Baby, you no could sex. have made that. That was yellow. When I'm driving. That's the sort of thing. Keep your opinion that to, to me, yourself. I would have smacked him in the face, so I really apologise for that because that is so annoying when people do that. Maybe you're not a good passenger. This dynamic doesn't work. We need to swap it back. Do you know around. what I mean? That's what I mean about you being a passenger. That's what you're... I mean about you. <laughs> Hey, I had a realisation the other day. Can you believe I used to review sex toys as a job? Like, I totally slept on that for a minute. Like, I forgot I did that. I've done some wacky stuff, but I that is wild. Wacky, but that is wild, I have to agree. I messaged her at 8.30. On a Saturday night, guys. I'm not embarrassed. 8.27 to be precise. Her phone was off. What green. were you distracted by then? Baby's green, that woman's dress. You're an absolute nightmare, honestly. No, no, we've, we've self-diagnosed yeah, ADHD. We've I don't know what's wrong with me today that I can't wake up this morning. I've had this all day. My brain is like fuzz. Yeah, you are It's a bit just fuzzy. like cotton wool up in there. <laughs> no, we've self-diagnosed myself with ADHD. Which everyone's doing nowadays. Everyone's giving themselves ADHD. Did you watch that panorama yet I told you about? No. Well, will you? You did tell me about that. I did. I told you about the panorama on ADHD. You must watch it. Your brain was thinking about something else. And we had the whole conversation about ADHD. When did you tell I me that? I said to you they did a big exploration on ADHD on the panorama. <laughs> I don't remember that. Because you were thinking about something else. Like that out, okay. Yeah, good. Oh my god, maybe I've got Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got selective hearing, that's what you've got. Oh my god! When there's something you don't want to hear, you just won't hear it. <laughs> but I actually would have wanted to hear that, so I don't know why I cut that out. Well, you best out. get it on BBC oh, iPlayer when you get home. Oh my god. Best get that on. What are you doing this evening? Packing. Oh. Are you so excited then? So you're going on a proper big family holiday. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Two weeks in this hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot Do you get on each other's nerves for two weeks? No, because we don't. Don't talk yeah, to each other, yeah, fine. Yeah, We've had a big us. week, girls, to be honest we with you. We have, no, sorry, I just want to rewind to the ADHD thing because what we were saying, can you see how I've just done it there? Holly was like, no, you, <laughs> at the same time, and I thought, lol, that's really funny because they've obviously been talking about it. You were like, babe, do you think you have ADHD? And Holly was like, ow, do you think you have ADHD? And I thought, yep, that's the one. We only spoke about it because you were so wacko taco with that man. What man? <laughs> In Soho House. Oh no, we have to talk about Oh my God. God. I've changed. No, no, it's actually kind of cringe because- <laughs> Don't all... be mean. Babe, <laughs> if you're gonna tell me I've got Alzheimer's and ADHD. <gasps> I didn't mention the Alzheimer's. I said nothing of it. It is cringe because two months ago, she sat in here, she's like, I hate so hey house. No, and then, no. Look at you. I like, said, no, no, no. I actually have the clip. So says, do I. I, I said, I said, I hate it in there because they're really judgy. I don't take that back, well, but I have now got a memory. <laughs> so she said all of that. Meanwhile, she's applying. I even saw the email. I'm going down this road. Yeah, just park down there. Because I hate your little situation. Okay. Go so, on, babe. There's a... Okay. I think you just need That's to be okay. better. I, I'm quite good at that. I don't backseat drive. Yeah, you're right. And trust me, there's a lot of times when you're hitting curbs right. and you're running red lights no, and I just say okay, nothing. You're absolutely right. So if you Apology, could just have a little breather there. Yeah, do you know what, guys? I'm a contradictory cucumber and I'm sorry about so, it. So yes, everyone I saw told the email me. Come in and I thought that must be a mistake. That little snake. Mm. Can I just say, everyone told me it was going to take months and months and months. And no, I thought, oh, by then I'll have some money and I'll probably want to be at Soho House all the time, hanging out with. 
with all the cool creatives. Like, no, I just want to be involved with the gang gang. Because you know? they're desperate for members. Yeah, they're letting any riffraff in. They Look are at me. actually letting any riffraff in. <laughs> such a what dick. did you put as your home house? Ballum. That's why, because they've opened all these new houses and now they need home members. But you got an every house one, right? Yeah. We're yeah. not doing it by halves, girls. If yeah. we're going to do it, no, we're going to do, do it. it. If I'm going to be a rhymes with banker, I might as well do it full time. Yeah, you got to do it properly. I think so. Full petal. Paint that the, the truth. Petal. <laughs> what is it? Pedal. Metals are the pedal. Pedals are the metal. That's the one. What? Is that That's right? Pedal you only say to something too many times and it doesn't sound real anymore. People say that all the time and I think it doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? Oh, pedal to the metal. But you've got an accelerator. Got it. Your pedal's got to go down to the metal. Now my brain's kicked into gear. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, I've got ADHD. No, she you got haven't. Got a, you're she, fine. No, and no, also, no, you really shouldn't do. diagnose people. It's very bad etiquette. Why? No, I've diagnosed myself. It's fine. I actually really appreciate it. Today was such a good example. I was packing and then I was like, oh, I need to do a wash. And then I opened all my posts and like honestly now I can't see my kitchen floor and like <laughs> you know imagine. what I mean it's just like I do everything it would all get done nothing gets done in one go like I have the same with yeah. emails I'll write half an email and then I'll have to do something else and then I'll have to come back it is that thing and like in the meetings like sometimes I'll just like just zone out not because I'm being rude or because I don't think what you're saying is interesting like my mind will just go elsewhere and then I'll get back in the room this happened the other day come back in the room and like I miss luckily I have her because if I I'm there like this own, dribbling over everything like so engaged overstimulated <laughs> It's not that I'm not engaged, it's just it that sometimes... It is, a little bit. I think if you were being kept engaged, you probably wouldn't zone out, don't you think? Or yes, not? yeah. But like, not if what they're saying is really engaging and interesting. But that's what I'm saying, so yeah, it's not. Yeah, So you are yeah, disengaged. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. I just let my brain switch off for a second and then I come back yeah. into the room and they're talking about something and I'm I like... I know, you ah! do it all the time and I'm like, oh, what did, where did you just go? Come back. Thank you. <laughs> Luckily, I have you imagined. But that's okay. Yeah. That's why opposites attract. This is what's good about our relationship, I think, is because it's all well and good being like, oh, opposites attract, yin and yang, but actually there's a lot of communication that has to take place because, like, I don't understand Al's default way of living and she doesn't understand yeah. mine. So, like, we big constantly have to have big old combos. Holly described it really well. She was like, Al's a lover and G's a fighter. Sorry, other way around. Right. Al's a fighter and G's a lover. My default is like, you know, let's fight it and, like, hardcore, hard nose. Whereas G's, like, in her feels all the time and like super emotional about yeah. everything obviously not that that's a problem but and I do have people like that in my life but because we're so different and we work together every single day it yeah. matters more than anyone else in your life that we that can you get it right yeah. and you can communicate because like properly. normally if you had a friend like that you'd just be like oh whatever they're just having a weird day I'll just leave them to it yeah I'll see you yeah, in a week yeah, when you're not yeah, being weird but anymore. we can't do that no we can't do and that I was thinking, and we have to like switch it on like in meetings like suddenly we had to do this pitch <laughs> oh my gosh came from nowhere and we had to do this big old pitch and you know we hadn't even practiced or anything so we've got to like actually work together and we're doing it pretty well babe do you think yeah so I went to get my tarot cards done, yeah. Tell me. You know when it happens and you think, that is so spooky. Have you ever had it done with the tarot? Never had my tarot done, no. Not with a tarot reader. Like, I pull cards with friends. No, obviously. but you've done it with that man. I saw guy. a proper psychic. Yeah. I'd like to do it with him because the tarot reader is slightly different to a psychic. Psychics I think like... I'd prefer a tarot reader. Really? Why? Well, because, like, what do you need from a psychic? Like, they just kind of tell you you're, like, dead now and loves you. It was just really weird. She said so much stuff that I thought... Insane. Are you about to what? No one would know that. I'm like, how would she know? Did that? she actually yeah, say she that? Yeah, she was like, is it got something to do with? Swear to God. Weird. Weird. Go. Do they hack your emails? No, I hate to be skeptic, no, but how does she know that? Because she's a psych. Because because she's a weird babe. She is. Look, if you're gonna do it, I think you have to really believe it, though. Like, there's no point in doing you it. You have to be receptive. I really. I mean, I'm really, really receptive to it. I'm, I'm like so, the best. Yeah. I so believe it. She was like, "Do you have a cat that's passed away? Why would she know that?" She was like, "Oh, he's really cheeky. Do you still speak to him?" I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "He just wants to let you know that he can still hear you and that he's saying hello back and he's very present and he's telling me about black leggings." And I said, "What do you mean?" He was like. He's telling me things about you so that you know it's him. I obviously wear black leggings every day. And he always used to stand like right here. Oh. So weird. She was like, is there a Daniel or a Dean in your life? And I was like, no. And she was like, they're going to become really, really important in your life. Like seeing like, Who are they? in a work capacity. Then she was like about the thing. It's going to be your calling card. This thing is going to open all these doors, all these opportunities. Oh my God, my heart just skipped a beat. That's 
so it's exciting. so weird. I've had this before and I don't know who this is. Apparently I've got like some really protective female spirit guide who's someone who died. This is so spooky. I had this tarot reading last year and the woman said the same thing. There's a female spirit connected to your mother. But not your granny. No, my mum's mum is alive. And she was like very, very strong connection with you and your mum. And this person is super protective of you. I don't know who that is. Anyway, and then it came up again. Mum's mum's mum. Could be, but I never knew her. But that doesn't matter. No, I know. It probably, I probably is something like that. Oh my god. But she was like, there's a really strong female spirit that's connected to you. And your second, that's the second time I've heard it. I honestly have no idea. Did you speak to your mum about yeah, that? Yeah, she was like, I have no idea. I honestly have no Bizarre. idea. What and is that? she was, oh, there were so many other things. Now I've forgotten. Oh, she was like, um, your partner, I, she was like, he's got a very masculine energy, he's very strong and stable, and I'm seeing a ring. And they're telling me... We've been saying he's going to propose. How weird. No, I'm going to be sick. No, I don't Where was he going when I saw him on the tube the other day? And then, Imagine if I caught him. I saw Raw out of the whole of yeah, London yeah. on the Northern Line. I see this boy chowing down on an M&S prawn sandwich, and I think, who is that? And it was our Raw. Where was he going? Was ring fitting. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, no, certain no. I of it. I told him, don't buy me a ring. Seriously, if he buys me a ring, I'll be pissed off. What if off. he gets it spot on? He won't, that's the problem. He, Why? Because he just won't. You might know what it is. Do you know what it is? I know what I want. Why wouldn't he know? Because oh, I don't think he's got like all the information. He needs to know like the specifics, the size and the shape. And... Oh my God, my heart, I feel no, sick. No, no, I think no. he's going to do no, it. No, no, listen, <laughs> listen. I will die listen. in a hole. No, it's not happening tomorrow. She said in the near Not future, tomorrow. Like, I think probably next year. But she was like, they're telling me, stop asking him. Yes, and I told you that. You ha must stop. Babe, we were talking about that and then sodding she Karen. She said. She was like, stop asking him because he wants it to be a surprise. Yeah, and you try and control and then, everything and she's right. And then she goes, do you want to get married in Italy? I had had that conversation with Rory the night before. She again? No, it was she's so spooky. <laughs> and then, do you want to know the weirdest thing? No. She said, our baby's on your mind. Yes, I've thought about nothing else. You've oh, thought about nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. I hate when people walk too close to your car. Holly's mum once got in a per car at a supermarket and there was a naked man on the back seat. Oh, sorry. What? Yeah, and she pulled him out by his legs because she was like, get out of my car. Like a perv? I guess. Crazy perv. Wow. So anyway, yeah, the tarot reader was, was Okay, well that's really good. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm into it. You know me. I love the hippy dippy stuff. I know. Bring it on. I know you would appreciate it. Bring on the spirits, <gasps> bring on the predictions. I don't care. I'm if it such... makes you happy, then it can't be that bad. The tarot yeah. reader goes, listen to your intuition. Do you know what Lucinda always says? Okay, I can't really remember it. It's head. <laughs> What does your head say? Heart, what does your heart say? Gut, what does your gut say? Sex, what does your sex say? You know, like, does it turn you on? Because right. that was kind of a different tap in, I think, than your gut. You would take one thing and you would check through all four points. One decision, and you'd go, what does my head say? Blah, 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 blah. You might visualize it, you might write it down, depending on how you work. God, that's quite hard, actually. Yeah, when you tap into your sex, I suppose it's thinking about, like... Are you looking at that girl with the wings? She's so sweet, I can't stop. She's got wings and a little dog, and a hat on. Yes. And she also looks a bit fed up with life she's so sweet <laughs> the dad just saw us staring at his kid i hope he doesn't think we're dodge constantly sat in cars near children it's really problematic no, 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 I know. we're just pro brooding i know i guess when you tap into your sex you have to think like yeah what turns you on you're like you know that like drive that only really comes from your sexuality yeah, like that's what you're tapping I do. into I do. when you fancy someone or that feeling when you first feel yeah, in love with someone like yeah. is that all being ignited from this decision or is it really good. nowhere near it it's very good I don't know if you know, but I've been to life coaching. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I've been life coached. I know how to live this life. What else do you want to tell me? Ali didn't know about Millie and Liam from Love Island being back together. It's just like not even interesting news. Well, it only is a bit because we talk so much about do you let someone get back that in your is life. That is true. And actually, th good. Thank good. you. I've linked it back. Good. Link it back to the drive <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I need a painkiller. I listened to that on my run and I was <laughs> like, get. Oh my god, I need a painkiller. It's so fast, it's that song. Oh my god. Is also, it? babe, your pit has looking dark. Isn't it? Yeah, girl! Come on. I love it. Is it sweaty? Yeah, tiny bit. Well, wipe it off then.
Please, when you die, actually, maybe before we burn you, I'll make <laughs> Why a little... am I always dying? Well, I'll make a little gerbil out of your head. <laughs> okay, <laughs> little thing that I you always... can go... <laughs> Is this the right decision? I always say that to Roy. When you die, I'm going to make a rug out of his hair. Back hair. And his leg hair, my goodness me. I've already inquired about the laser for him because... Have you told him I think he's so handsome? Yeah, I did. Good. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's so nice. I was like, you guys love each other more than I do. <laughs> Will you do. just relax, the two of you? No, I obviously no, didn't mean came... in a, like, steal your man kind no, of way. No, I just I think it's sometimes it. nice no, to know. No, love it. That other people like, find your boyfriend so attractive. Handsome. It's funny because I don't really look at him every day and think, oh, you handsome boy. But this was even it. I saw him in his own environment. Yeah, I saw him I out know, of context I know, and I thought, I my God, boy. handsome young man. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I'd like you to be with a fit boy. I'd be worried if you weren't. Be I do guy. think that he's got good baby making genes, though. That's one thing I Because do you know him. what it is? It's his eyes. Yeah. Babe, everyone says that to me. They're huge. They're, They're like huge. Saucers. He's got, well, he's got big eyelashes yeah, as well. Yeah, he looks yeah. like a cow, like a good looking cow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I've inquired about the laser because last time we had to go through the waxing saga again with his back like, I can't do this for the rest you of my life you had your laser today didn't you yeah my nose how's it looking down there it's life changing this is not an ad I haven't been paid I'm paying for this myself paying for this out of my hard earned cash Actually, burning off my nunny hair could not recommend it more at the moment honestly you could make a sheepskin rug out of my <laughs> vagina hair it is a nightmare and when you get to that stage you can't get it waxed Colin's been away for a long time and we can tell what are you going to do when you have to go on holiday with, with my share. dad my poor oh, dad doesn't want to see my no. bush we're sharing a room with your dad all for three of us are you serious? It's not bad, but a room. That's hilarious. I, I just said to mum, like, oh, don't pay for an extra hotel room. It's just me. I'll just have a little camp bed on the sofa. They, maybe they wanted to get it on. They've got, like, like a big suite. Their sex style. I honestly don't think my dad could even get love it him. Up. He's almost 80. Like, I know Hugh Hefner was at it, but... Come on, lots of men get it up when they're 80. Actually, I just think he wants a different kind of love. I think he's okay. I actually think when you get to 80, what sex? Also, I mean, they live alone. It's not like I'm, like... It's more of a novelty to have me there, but they'll be way more gassed about that having me true. on the sofa bed. Than my dad potentially getting a hand job. Do you that know is what I mean? True, yeah. Hand job. I mean, like that's just like scraping the barrel. Yeah. Do it God. yourself. Do you know what I oh, mean? Oh, honestly, she's not doing more than that. My old mum. <laughs> Don't think she can be asked. God love her. <laughs> See what you're gonna do about your nunny hair. I will get it done before I go away. I'm running out of time. It's so, so many things. Painful. It's gonna be so painful, but my lady is so good, and I've got such a high pain threshold that I just lie there and I go, go on, get I've it thought done. That before I got the laser, and then it's like no, I am. I would be scared of that. I don't think I can even have it, can I? Too fair. Let's see. No, you can have it. You're actually the perfect. You are the perfect laser candidate because you've got. Well, to... I'm not because I love body hair. You've got so to have dark. Yeah, but not. You don't need a bush for the rest of your life, all over, everywhere. I need to be bushier as I get older. I think. No, but you don't want it growing down your legs. That guy. But it doesn't grow down my legs. Like we're honestly unhinged. Oh, I walked up my gate the other day and someone was like, "Oh my god!" And I thought, of all the places, here is really not. Long. I will never, ever get used to someone coming up to me and saying. You oh do from God. TikTok. Yeah, no, I die. Totally a, I'm like, never say that out loud again in public because that's so embarrassing. <gasps> Babe, it's not embarrassing. Just FYI, what we actually do. I don't know if you know, but these videos do appear on TikTok and actually you post them every day. So. Twice a day, every day. No, you're the perfect lace candidate because you've got dark hair, light skin. Very blonde. Is your bush hair blonde? Is it the same colour as this? Lighter. No, it's probably the same okay, colour as that. that's perfect. That is okay. really perfect. I'll get it done. I get my bikini line done. I've just been a little bit lazy and also a little bit tight. Bend you do on yourself. everything. You no, no, I used to do it myself in lockdown, but she's so good. And oh, she's good. amazing. I never get ingrown hairs from her. In lockdown, when you had to do it yourself, I did that as oh, well. Oh my God, I was on my bedroom no. carpet with the pot of wax between my legs. That actually, I have PTSD No, that, that was horrendous. Not worth it. And I have the pain thing, like it doesn't really affect me, but when you've got to do it yourself. Also the undercarriage, when you've got to get up and under in the lips. No. Oh, it makes me want to be sick, that pain makes me want to be sick. <laughs> You're sweating. Sweating. Oh, no, I can't do that. I oh really my god, the sweat that. in no, the knee cream. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh my god, this is And horrendous. the nitty cream, no, it's bad. It's too it's much. so bad. Yeah. Um, What's girls' dinner? Oh, just, you know this whole trend about girls' dinner? No. You don't know about the trend about girls' dinner? <laughs> no. Right, so yesterday she had a go at me because I didn't know what a podcat meant, because this girl messaged us and was like, I'm such a podcat. And I said, oh, no, no, God. the only reason I had a go at you is because I felt it was quite self explanatory. Well, it's not really. Because oh. I thought she just misspelled podcast. <laughs> a podcat is just someone who enjoys podcasts. I would say a podder. I like that. Or a poddy. Or a plodder. Yeah. 
I like it. Anyway, you know this trend that's like, okay, I have this all the time because I live with my boyfriend, right? Normally, you have to sit down, you'd like to have a nice normal meal and la la, but girl dinner is like, you know when you just have like picky bits? Mm. But I couldn't do that if it was me and more because he would still be hungry at the end of all my picky bits. Like I have, oh, girl yeah. dinner is like when you just have a girl dinner. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know? yeah. And it's just like, and I had it last night because he was out and I just had like heaven. A, heaven. Yeah, you just oh. have a little bit of everything you want. You don't have to think about it. And also, you don't have to think about it. Yeah, being a full meal. meal. You know, when they're like, well, there was no meat together. in it. Or there yeah. was no, and you're like, well, yes. that doesn't matter because we had a lot of falafel and yeah. then it's all relax yourself. Yeah. And I, I know exactly that, what yeah. you mean. Yeah, and there's this whole trend being like, this is my girl dinner. And last night I thought, oh my God, I love girl dinner. And, and also, you can clear out the fridge because we don't yes. mind. We're not fussy about yeah. it. We'll, we'll rustle something up. I will say, I love him with all my heart, but I slept in a bed by myself this weekend for the first time in probably two months. Heaven. Better than sex. Like, genuinely <laughs> handle my heart better than sex. If you want to give me anything for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's that. It will be that. And then the girl dinner, and I thought, wow, these single girls are really onto something. Yeah, they're living a high life. Really? Listen, there's peaks and troughs to both, I'd say. I agree. Take it as it comes, swings and roundabouts. Make the most of it. Millie and Liam. Boring. Taking them back. That's the only reason I thought it was relevant. Interesting they're back together. Do we have the specifics? No, I just know they were both on that Virgin cruise. That every influencer on planet Earth was on. Apart from us. Did you want to go on the Virgin cruise with all the influencers? I actually don't think I'd have said no, and I'll tell you for why. Anything where there's free booze and free food is somewhere I want to I be. agree, but it would have just been like overload influencer, and I probably would have said no. Also, we're business. not quite influencers yet, so we're not quite accustomed to the like language. It's like being at the zoo kind of Yes! Thing. We need to become an animal at the zoo. Yes. You look like a little green canary bird. <laughs> and you kind of look like a giraffe. Do I? Yeah. Connery's kind of a giraffe, tall. babe. Yeah. You are tall. I'm not because I've got such stocky legs. No, babe, I think you are tall. I'm just I'm proportionately you, like. But are you are tall compared to normal people. I just have a long <laughs> legs compared to the average height. It's 5'5 five five in the UK. How tall are you? 5'7 and a half. Well, then we're exactly the same. You're an 8. Do you think? Yeah, you're definitely 5'8. In eight. centimetres, how much are you? And 172. What is it, like 172? Well, then we're identical. I think you're taller than me. But then I think it's just because you've got longer legs and a shorter I torso, so and I've got a long so old torso. My torso never ends. But I think that's quite nice. Horrible. Why? Horribly I'll tell you why it's bad for me because all my jeans are too short. Yeah, well, good problem to have. <laughs> you know what Colin always says when he sees someone with short jeans? <laughs> They're a flood coming. And I think that he says such it every a time. Bad joke. Get on. I come know on. you're older than me, but my God, you can do show your age. Oh, it's like when you wear ripped jeans and Raw goes, oh, camo. This is his joke. I wear camo something and you go, oh, I can't see your legs. <laughs> <laughs> leave, just leave. Idiot. Or like when you wear ripped jeans and they say, did you buy them like that? Oh, shut up. Go and buy a ring just and sh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't wait for that. Are you oh. gonna screen record the FaceTime to me? No, I'm gonna tell you in person, obviously. Well, if we're away, then what how if are we away? Gonna do this you're gonna have to FaceTime though. me and record her. Okay. That's what my cousin did. Okay. And, and it was epic. And I also, our whole TikTok feed is now weddings because I've just been in the wedding hall. I don't even look at our TikTok feed. I go on there solely to post and then I get out of there <laughs> sharpish because it's not a safe place to be. Because you are nuts. Get on your own TikTok. <laughs> I don't want to be inside your head. It's like going inside Ali's head and it's so like raw fish, wedding dresses, and babies. And I'm like, those three things together are offensive to Can me. Can I tell you, I don't really like being that girl, the wedding dress and the baby's girl, but somehow I have become that person and it's really freaking me out. I'm getting to that age, you're a little bit older than me. Give it a year, babe. It's Saturn Returns. You're about to hit it in October. Yeah, I'm because so you ready. Get, She's yeah. going to have a total nervous breakdown like I did. I'm going to say, and I can't wait. On my, no, on my birthday, I, I called remember. and I was like, we must go for a walk. I'm, I need to break up with Rory right now. Mm. Okay, on the day. And it's going to happen to you, so I'm ready. I've cleared my diary already. It's nothing in my diary. On your birthday. What are you can do for your birthday? It's a Sunday, isn't it? Oh, good day to have a birthday, babe. We're all going to Soho Farmhouse now. <laughs> yes! I hate myself. I hate myself. We're gonna go to Soho Farmhouse. You best believe all those Instagram stories. Oh no, my god. It's so embarrassing. Like, I love like, it. I hate it. Piglet, like, mm, Soho Farmhouse. Also, the... now I think my hatred is gonna melt away because I feel like they won't treat me. Well, but it's gonna have to hate you. They they're been... Or they're gonna rescind the membership. If you rescind? keep going, if you keep Return going, to on send on, it. If you keep going on about it, they're gonna be like, mm, axe. No, can I just say, I sure. guarantee you they won't treat me how they've treated me as a guest. Of course not. Now I'm a member, now I'm a paying customer. Of They'll be like, not. oh, Miss G, what can we get for you? Babe, just you wait till we're, you know, really famous and the way they'll look at you. I don't actually think, I think I've changed my mind. It's so scary. What? <laughs> Joking. Bit late now. Joking, keep the gifting coming. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. No, like, the possibilities are endless. are endless. You could get a whole wedding for free. Fingers crossed. That's I think what that one did. Yes, yes. Did you watch that? Yeah. I haven't watched it, but I've seen it all. I mean, the whole thing. Of course, everywhere. I highly recommend actually to a friend. She looked. 
Well, she really did look chef's kiss. I mean, she'd had a lot of work done oh, I know, in I the lead up, but she's very open about it and I'm here for it. The only thing I dislike are the huge teeth because she does look a bit like a horse. The veneers. But she would say that herself. Yeah. And her lips are no double the size. I think be. with the lips, it must be a thing where you become a bit immune to them. Like, so they don't look like you, like you with the whitening. Your teeth don't look white when they go a shade whiter yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas to the world, yeah, it's like, yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, I must get a sunglass because Ali's just opened her mouth. Yeah, that's like you know? with her lips. You're yeah. absolutely right. I think that must just happen. I liked her dress though. Her dress was Yeah, I loved so her beautiful. dress. I think it really suited her. Yeah, I think so too. It felt like her in Can a dress. I actually, I actually think that hers was one of the only dresses that I've seen recently that I really loved. Really? God, I've seen a lot actually, but from not who? for me. Random people that keep coming up on our TikTok. I don't know them. <laughs> I must tell you this thing. Yeah, and then you must go because I've got to get back to work. Do it when you get home. I've got things to do. I'm okay, working. Must you got things to do. I'm going to be sacked any minute, honestly. It's going to be so fun that we can go for a party. Then we can celebrate the fact I've been sacked. Should we have a thumb more? One, two, three, four. I eight, declare eight. a thumb more. Be Bow. it black or be it white. I declare a thumb fight. Kiss. Bow. Kiss. Bow. We do it different. Yeah. They have the different in Gloucester. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two three, three, four. I declare a thumb more. Be it black or be it white, I declare a thumb fight. Kiss, bow, begin. Oh, wow, those thumbs are strong. My goodness me. Oh, you're trying okay, to gym I've got for to, nothing. Okay, you know when you have this thing, you find something out and it changes your world perspective. Do you ever have those moments? Yeah, right. I know exactly what you mean. You know the ketchup song? I said, hey, ha, hey, I should listen to him and say, you know, I don't want to get a name, I'm not going to be. What the hell are those words? Right, I'm going to tell you that right now. I heard this on Radio 1 and I haven't stopped thinking about it. I think she's speaking Spanish or Portuguese and she's lucky telling, I've got a Spanish AS level with a U. She's telling the DJ that this is my favorite favorite song and she's mimicking Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> she's basically singing the tune in a faster, more hip funky way. And it's an and a beat, no, I've got it. What? Yeah. Okay, Emma's just stopped us. Emma, get in the back quickly. This is mad. Do you want to get in the back? We were just charging I, the camera. I, I and... Way to get waxed. Okay, she's going, oh, we were just, oh, we're just talking, talking about waxing. Emma's getting waxed. waxed. Go on, girl. Yeah, go, go, on, go on, go on. See you soon. That is, that is mad. That we were just sat here, just doing our emails and stuff, and she was like knocking on the door. She was like, I love your TikToks and That is so funny. Mad. Love you, babe. Epic. Hi, Emma. Shout out to Emma. Babe, I'm not going to see you until. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, you're going on holiday. Just say that again. Oh, oh, bum! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, don't go. Are we gonna speak? Are oh, we gonna speak? No, because sometimes you like to like have a bit of peace and quiet, no, no, but no, I don't no, want I you to. Really don't. You'll feel relaxed Babe, anyway. I was actually wishing you could come with me because I get in those states on holiday where I just need to play. Like I'm like a retriever on holiday. I can do the relaxing, chill We'll take a little uh, bat and ball. Yeah, but okay. I was just thinking like sometimes one goes, oh, and no, no, no. I just thought, oh, G would just play G with me. G would play with me. I know you G would. would do an obstacle course around the right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, well, have the best time. That's I love, why we love you. Each other so have much. the best time. Good luck with hacking. God, it sounds very stressful. Send me some pictures. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Bye.